is Robert Stelic with Blue Planet Surf and I want to talk a little bit about surfing on race boards here. This is our on the water session after we talked a little bit on the beach. Jeff Chang and myself, we coach a uh, weekly training group every Wednesday out in Hawaii Kai. And uh, at this day we went and practiced surfing on, on the race boards. Surfing on race boards is a really good skill to, to have. It, it helps a lot with uh, downwind paddling, you know, um, knowing how to control your board when it's planing and going fast, uh, you know, how to move around on your board, being comfortable with maneuvering the board and so on, balancing. Um, it's all really helpful in, in downwind racing and it's also a lot of fun. You can get waves way outside and ride them a lot longer than you can on, on a regular shorter board. So, you know, not, not just us, but there's a lot of people that enjoy uh, riding these longer boards in the surf too. There's actually uh, Marshall Rosa is one of the guys that lives right there in Hawaii Kai and we see him a lot out there surfing waves on, on his race boards when we have our weekly Wednesdays training group. Um, I think he goes out there almost every day. So one thing that's, uh, that you learn when you surf a race board is moving your weight around a lot. You got a lot of uh, long boards to move up and down on. So by moving your weight forward when the wave kind of gets, um, gets slopey, um, helps you stay on the wave. And then when the wave gets steeper, um, you can move back and kind of trim down the line uh, from the tail. You can control the board better. Um, but then as the wave gets slopier again, you want to move back and forth. So that's kind of um, a skill to learn, like when, when you have to move back and when you have to move forward. Here's Jeff moving forward and uh, as the wave gets slopey, slope, taking a stroke and then as it speeds up again, then you can uh, move back again. Natalie um, kind of stayed in her parallel stance a lot, tried to get her to get a little bit more into the surf stance, but that's what she was comfortable in and she was doing just fine surfing on, in the, with her feet kind of in that parallel stance. This one wave here, I left the whole wave in the video um, when I was editing it. I realized from start to end, this one wave alone was uh, almost two minutes long. So 1.7 minutes just surfing on one wave. And you know, that's part of the fun of uh, riding on these race boards is that you can catch waves from way outside, waves that you wouldn't usually be able to even catch on a regular stand up uh, surfing board or definitely not a prone surfing board. You know, ride it, have fun, and, uh, and enjoy even when it's a small day. And uh, just get a, get these long rides and good exercise. And yeah, and then on Wednesday we meet at 5:30 or 5 or 5:30, and then you know the sun sets. It's beautiful. Just a really really enjoyable experience. And always good to get on the water and get wet a little bit. Any excuse is good. So, and then when you're racing, of course, you know, when you're coming in at the race, you, you want to milk that wave for every little bit because, um, you know, if you can plane a little bit longer than the other guys, uh, you'll, you'll get that much farther ahead of them and have to use less energy to, to paddle. So as the wave is dying, you want to, you know, paddle hard and stay on, on it as long as you can and use that um, power to plane a little bit longer than you would without it. Yeah, and then... You know, paddling out, one of the tips we mentioned was making sure that when you go over the wave to kind of uh, soften the blow a little bit so your board doesn't hit the back of the wave as you come back down hard. So, you know, we've seen guys buckling their boards, they're super light race boards. Um, but yeah, another fun session. Hope you can join us one day, either at our Wednesdays training group or maybe at our shop on Ward Avenue. Planet Surf, or one of our many distributors and dealers worldwide. All right, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Aloha.